Hi everyone, uh, this is my review of the Trek Amanda SL5. So, what is the Trek Amanda SL5? Well, they tend to sell it as a climber slash aero bike, and when you look at the frame, you can see some really nice aero features, particularly to this top part of the frame here. So, looking at the frame from the front, you can really see these aero features just here. And I think they give the uh, the bike frame a really nice bit of style. Looking at the frame from the top, uh, again you can see some really nice styling that they've put onto this frame. So it's nice and thick here and here, and it really slims down in the middle. Uh, that styling is not there by accident, it's just there so that when you're cycling along your knees don't catch the frame. Also looking at the top of the frame you have the, uh, the Amanda logo just there. Uh, I think it looks really nice. Now looking at the frame as a whole, I've got it in this uh, really nice blue fading into a nice light blue colour. Uh, it's got the the big Trek logo on the frame. Uh, I think it looks really nice like this. Uh, when you look at the, the dark blue on the frame, I, I don't think it'll show on camera, but there is some nice really, some really nice styling to this paint job. It's not just a like a dull blue colour, there is uh, some nice detail to it, when you, which you can see a lot better when it's nice and sunny. So the frame as a whole, it's a really nice stiff frame, uh, which for me is ideal, particularly in my area, because it's really, really hilly. Uh, overall, I think it's a top quality frame. I think it's the same frame that you would find with the, uh, the SL6, uh, which I think it just comes with a slightly higher uh, grade of components. So moving on to the uh, the group set of the bike, uh, this comes with the Shimano 105 R7000. Uh, this group set is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's what's called the uh, the people's group set. So it's a really high quality performing group set at a fraction of the cost of say let's say Ultegra and definitely uh, Dura Ace. The 105 shifters are really nice, really nice and comfortable. It's got a real nice feel to it every time you change the gear and it's a crisp change. So as soon as you tap that shifter, it changes instantly. Uh, looking at the uh, the top of the bike you, uh, and the hoods, uh, these are really, really nice and comfortable, a real nice shape for the hand. Uh, long rides aren't a problem with these. Uh, they do try to integrate the uh, the cables into the stem uh, it just pokes out a little bit but compared to uh, a lot of bikes it it is all nice and neat uh, it is a little bit tricky to get your your mounts on so like I've got the Garmin mount uh, I'll try and show you here but the cable has come pretty tight against the bars so let's say like trying to put a light and your Garmin mount on it can be a little bit tricky uh, you have to fiddle about with it, but uh, it, it is a really nice looking cockpit uh, and like I say, the best thing about it is just how comfortable the bike is. Uh. Looking at the uh, the gearing, uh, the chain set, it comes in a 50-34 tooth. Uh, and at the back you have 11, I think this is a 32 and I think you can get it up to a 34. Uh, it's really nice gearing, like I say, particularly for myself because I'm living in a really hilly place. Uh, this gearing is uh, more than enough for myself. I've, uh, I've not had any problems with the hills compared to my other bike, which is... I think it's something like a 40 tooth and then a 28 tooth on the back so this is a lot better for myself moving on to the uh, the rest of the bike and uh, all the other components are all Bontrager uh, so things like the stem uh, the seat post the saddle uh, the wheel set it's all Bontrager uh, and to be honest with you, I've never used Bontrager before, but uh, I really do uh, 
like the feel, particularly the wheel set. Moving on to the wheel set, so uh, these are the uh, the Paradigm Comp uh, wheel set by Bontrager. Uh, I believe these are the entry level wheel set. Uh, these come tubeless ready. Uh, they come with the Bontrager hard case light uh, tyres on them. Uh, to be honest with you, I really do like this wheel set. To say it's an entry level wheel set, it, it's got a real nice feel for it. Uh, the best thing that I like about this wheel set is the uh, the rims on the here, uh, which are by far the, the widest wheel rims that I've had on the road bike before. Uh, these are 28 mil tyres on there and it really does sit nice and flush with the rim uh, Super super comfortable Right, we'll finish off with the uh, uh, The seat post and the saddle uh, I've never had a seat post like this before uh, Every other seat post that I've had goes into the frame Whereas this one sits on the outside of the frame uh, I'm unsure about this, uh, from a visual point of view, so I don't know if I just need to get used to it or not, but I'm kind of like 50-50 on, on this design, I just, I think it's a good idea, it just, like I say, from a visual point of view, I'm not 100% sure it works, uh, but, yeah, I mean, it'll do, I mean, uh, the saddle, this is the stock saddle that came with the bike. Uh, I've not changed it. It, was, it. it does actually suit me. Um, it is really nice and soft. Uh, yeah, it's, it's got a nice feel for it. So for the time being, I'm going to stick with that saddle. Uh, yeah, like I say, it's just visually, I'm not sure about that seat post so there we are that's my review of the Trek Amanda SL5 uh, my overall review of the bike uh, for a rider like myself so I cycle to work three to four times a week uh, a total of around about 10 miles uh, I'll go out whenever I can every other day uh, probably my longest ride I'll do is probably around about 50 miles uh, so for myself it's absolutely fantastic uh, fully recommend it to uh, to anybody out there like so I'm just unsure about that seat post but apart from that I absolutely love the bike uh, so I will do a, another review in around about a year's time so I'll see if I've changed anything on the bike uh, so I am thinking about making the uh, the wheels tubeless. Uh, apart from that, I'm not really sure, but uh, I'll do another video there and I'll tell you how I feel about it then. Uh, but yeah, if, uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, any other questions, please just leave a comment and uh, I'll get back to you. So thank you.